Hello there everyone for watching this video. You are listening to Just Be Kaur. I am working in Sri Vashishk Vidyale as maths teacher. And today we are going to revise the concept of Roman numerals. As you all are already aware that ancient Romans used letters to write numbers. Even today the building date on monuments and public buildings is marked in Roman numerals. And we also use Roman numerals in clocks and watches. Also, you might have seen in our school that our classes are represented by Roman numerals. So, you people must be quite aware about it. So, today we are going to see how we can write standard alphabets to represent the round figure quantities. So, these are uh, the standard alphabets to represent Roman numerals. So, over here you can see that I represents 1, V represents 5, X represents 10, L represents 50, C represents 100, D represents 500, M represents 1000. So, this is the standard alphabet to write Roman numerals. Now, the question is how you have to memorize this. Who says that in maths you don't have to learn or memorize anything? There are few things which you have to memorize or remember to write or to apply. So, the method to revise or to memorize this is IVX. It represents 1. 510 IVX LCDM. IVX LCDM. This is the simplest way to memorize these letters of Roman numbers. IVX LCDM. So I represents 1, V represents 5, X represents 10, L represents 50, C represents 100, D represents 500, and M represents 1000. So over here you'll see the counting by ones in Roman numbers. So, one is represented as I, two is represented as I, I, one plus one is two, so I, I, then one plus one plus one is three, so I, I, I. Now, four, how you can write four in Roman numeral? Four is written as five minus one, that means five you have to write on the right hand side and I which is 1, you have to write on the left hand side. So, I, V represents 4. V represents 5. V, I represents 6. 5 plus 1 is 6. So, 5 is V and I is 1. So, 5 plus 1 is 6. So, V, I is 6 in Roman numerals. And again, V, 5 plus 1 plus 1 is 7. So, V, I, I is represented as 7. And V, I, I the same way is represented as 8. Now 9. Over here 10 is represented as x in Roman numbers. So x you have to write on the right hand side and 1 which is represented as i in Roman numeral you have to write on the left hand side. So 10 minus 1 is 9. So i x is represented as 9. Similarly you have to do for 10s in Roman numerals and also for hundreds in Roman numerals. Now let's see few basic rules of Roman numerals over here. Whenever a Roman numeral is rep repeated or smaller Roman numeral follows a larger number. Right? The values are added together. See over here, V is the larger number which is represented as 5 and I, I, I. This represents 1, 1 and 1. So, these are the smaller numbers in Roman numeral. So, whenever the smaller number is written after the larger number, that means you have to add at that time. And whenever the smaller number is written before the larger number, at that time you have to minus. So, V, that means 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 8. So, V, I, I, I is representing 8 over here and ix is representing 9 over here which is 10 minus 1 so that is 9 let's see few addition rules over here 
as i told you whenever the smaller number is written after the larger number at that time you have to add that means 10 plus 1 is 11 so xi represents 11 then 10 plus 5 that means 10 is represented as uh, uh, x in roman numerals so x v represents 50 then c that is 100 and v 5 6 and 7 so 100 plus 7 107 is represented as c v i i in roman numeral now d what is d in roman numeral d is 500 then 600 that is c is 100 500 plus 100 600 plus 100 700 plus 100 800 so this d c c c is 800 l is 50 and x is 10 so 50 plus 10 is 60 so 860 is represented as d c c c l x now let's see the subtraction rules there are some rules about subtraction over here i x and c are the only numerals that can be subtracted i x and c are the only numerals that can be subtracted i now i can only be subtracted from v and x that means from 5 and 10 i can only be subtracted from 5 and 10 now x can only be subtracted from l and c that means 50 and 100 x that means 10 can only be subtracted from 50 and 100 and c that is 100 can only be subtracted from 500 and 1000 you have to be very clear with this now let's proceed over here 4 5 minus 1 iv right as i have told you then 9 is represented as 10 minus 1 that x on the right hand side and i on the left hand side so 40 50 minus 10 that means 50 you have to write on the right hand side and x 10 you have to write on the left hand side right hand side this is left hand side then 90 100 minus you have uh, already learnt over here that x can only be subtracted from l and c over here you can see uh, that x can only be subtracted from l and c over here you can see l and c so l is 50 50 minus 10 xl is represented as 40 now over here 100 minus 10 100 minus 10 x is represented as 90 over here 100 can only be subtracted from d and m 100 can only be subtracted from d and m that means d is 500 and c is 100 so cd represent 400 over here now m is 1000 and c is 100 so cm represents 900 over here now you can pause the video over here and you can see all the roman numerals till 100 right so let's see how we can write these numbers one sorry one is represented as i two i i three i i then four five minus one that means five on the right hand side and i on the left hand side i v represents four v represents five six represents uh, represented as v i that means five plus one then seven is represented as five plus two that means five plus one plus one that is v i i then eight is represented as v three times i then nine is represented as i x that means x on the right hand side and i on the left hand side then 10 is represented as x now 20 x x 30 3 times x 40 that means you have to minus 10 from 50 l on the right hand side x on the left hand side xl represented as 40 in roman numerals l as 50 lx that means 50 plus 10 is 60 right 50 plus 10 is 60 50 and 60 50 60 70 so lxx is represented as 70 then 50 plus 60 
70, 80 is written as L 3 times X in Roman numerals. Then 90 you have to minus 10 from 100. So 100 is written as C and X is written as 10, right? So X E X C is represented as 90. Sorry, I haven't written 100 over here. You can see over here how you can write 100. So 100 is written as C over here. Now 500 is written as D, right? Is represented as D in Roman numerals, and M is represented as 1000. Now we can we are going to see few more numbers over here. 1080. 1000. How 1080 will split this number? We'll write as 1000 plus 80. So we'll write 1000 over here. 1000 is uh, written as M. So we'll write M. Then 80. How you have to write 80? You have seen over here 50, 60, 70, 80. So M is 1000 and L, X, X is 80. Now we'll see one more example over here. 690. You have to split this. 690. So 600. 600 is 500 plus 100. Right? 500 plus 100. So 500 is written as D and C. If we add C in 500, we'll get 600. So, DC represents 690 is represented as XC. So, DC is 690 is XC. Right? Over here, we will see one more example. 335. You will write as 335. So, how you can write 300 over here? 300, you can see that C, C, C. Right? So, 3 times C represents 300. Then 30, how you can write 30? 3 times x, 1, 2, 3. So that means x, 10, 20, 30 and 5, you know how to write. So 3 times c, then 3 times x, that means 30 and v. That's it. Now we'll see how we can apply operations in Roman numerals. You can see that we have written this xc over here. Xc is 90 and V is 5. So 90 plus 5 is 95. Now Cc means 200 and V means 5. So 205. Now M means 1000 and D, D means 500, 600, 700, 800. So 1000 plus 800 that is 1800. Now we will see subtracting and writing in Hindu Arabic and then converting it to Roman. We will see two more examples over here for uh, subtraction. CC means 200 and XC means 90. So 200 minus 90 is 110. Now we will split this 100 plus 10. So 100 is written as C and 10 is written as X. Now we will see over here M, D, C. M means 1000, D means 500 and C means 100. So, M 1000 plus 500 plus 100 that is 1600. Now, C means 100. I X means 109. So, 1600 minus 109 is 1490. We will split this over here. So, 1491. So, we will write it as 1000 M C D 400 X C means 90 and 1 means i. So, this is the way we can uh, write the Roman numerals and I hope you would have understood how to write the Roman numerals. It's very easy when you, once you memorize all this and you can apply the Roman numerals in the operations also, in mathematical operations and you can solve the sums. So, that's it. For today, I hope you would have understood and you will practice a lot to understand this. That's it for today. Thank you a lot.